Hi friends, this is Suma from softwaretestingmaterial.com. In this video, we are going to see whether the testers write test cases for all the types of testing or not. As per ISTQB, there are four software test types, namely functional, non-functional, structural and change related. Some of the testing types come under functional testing type. They are smoke testing and sanity testing and when coming to non-functional testing type some of the testing types come under this they are performance testing load testing reliability testing stress testing usability testing localization and globalization structural testing is also known as white box testing and coming to the fourth testing type that is change related regression and retesting come under this testing type let's see do the testers really write test cases for all the types of testing here i am going to give a short note on some of the testing types and i also specify whether we write test cases or not i'll confine myself to the widely used testing types in this video first smoke testing Smoke testing is a type of testing which will be done to verify whether the raised build is testable or not. This is just to test whether the build which was released by development team is testable. So we just test the basic features like login. To do smoke testing we pick up the test cases which we have already written. We don't write test cases particularly to do smoke testing. Next, sanity testing. Sanity testing will be done during the release phase to verify the main functionalities of the application without going deeper. To do this, we pick up the test cases which we have already written, same as smoke testing. And we don't write test cases particularly to do sanity testing. Functionality testing. We do test each and every feature of the software application to make sure whether the each feature is behaving as specified in the requirement document. To do functionality testing, we do write test cases. Next, integration testing. Integration testing is the process of testing the interface between two software units. To do integration testing, we do write test cases. System testing. Testing the fully integrated application to ensure that the application works as intended or not. To do system testing, we have to write test cases. Acceptance testing. This is done by the end users along with the testers to validate the functionality of the application. Most probably acceptance testing will be done by customers. So they may write test cases to do acceptance testing. Next, compatibility testing. It is to deploy and check whether the application is working as expected in a different combination of environmental components. Test cases which were already written will be used to do compatibility testing. Ad hoc testing. Ad hoc testing is quite opposite to the formal testing. It is an informal testing type. In ad hoc testing, testers randomly test the application without following any documents and test design techniques. So we don't write any test cases for ad hoc testing. Performance testing. Performance is concerned with achieving response times, throughput and resource utilization levels that meet the performance objectives of the product. Even though we use tools like load runner, we pick up some scenarios and write test cases to do performance testing. Performance testing test cases are not similar to functional testing test cases. Usability testing. To verify whether an application is user friendly or not, main focus will be on look and feel of the application. We follow a checklist to test the look and feel of the application. So we don't write specific test cases to do usability testing. Next, accessibility testing. To verify whether a user is able to use it comfortably or not. 
we follow a checklist to test the look and feel of the application same like usability testing so we don't write specific test cases to do accessibility testing reliability testing in terms of reliability testing we do perform testing on the application continuously for long period of time in order to verify the stability of the application we don't write manual test cases to do reliability testing we use automation tools to do this by picking up some scenarios regression testing repeated testing of an already tested program after modification to discover any defects introduced or uncovered as a result of the changes in the software being tested or in another related or unrelated software components we use already written test cases to do regression testing so we don't write specific test cases to do regression testing next retesting we do retesting to ensure that the defects which were found and posted in the earlier build were fixed or not in the current build we don't write test cases to do retesting we use bug report to do retesting recovery testing we do recovery testing to determine how quickly the system could recover from crashes to do recovery testing we write test cases globalization testing globalization is a process of designing a software application so that it can be adapted to various languages and regions without any changes to do globalization testing we write test cases and last localization testing localization is a process of adapting globalization software for a specific region or language by adding local specific components s we write test cases to do localization testing thanks friends if you have any queries please comment below if you did enjoy this video be sure to like the video don't forget to subscribe this channel by clicking the subscribe button i will see you soon in the next video thank you have a good day